Good morning, I'm Dean Ziener. Welcome to Dobson Pipe Organ Builders here in Lake City, Iowa. Lynn Dobson founded this company in 1974. We currently have 19 employees and we've built organs throughout the United States and we did our first abroad a year ago at Oxford, England. Right now we've got the organ at St. Mary's Church in our shop doing some restoration work on that. The project began several years ago actually uh, in looking at the instrument and seeing what repairs it needed. And um, we came down, removed the organ. We've got the parts here. The project is multifaceted, as you will see. Primarily, we are restoring the wind system, repairing some of the wind chests that have uh, not been repaired before, uh, doing some work on some pipe work, facade scrolls, which are the pipes that you see, wind lines, and those various facets of the work are going to be discussed in the shop as we go through. And what you are about to see has been shot over various periods of time, so uh, please bear with us as we go through the shop and take a look. The wind lines of this instrument are made of wood rather than metal, and the joints were originally glued with a high glue that many of which have broken. They're being re-leathered, they're being re-glued, they're being repaired and re-gasketed and this will make the organ's wind system airtight so that we don't have any wind leaks and extraneous noise when you're supposed to be listening to the organ. Uh, some of the old restorers have painted the wind lines a burgundy color and you'll see that throughout the parts that are laying around our shop. What we have here is the one of the one of two pedal wind chests for the instrument at St. Mary's. It is upside down and each of these is a valve that admits wind uh, into a channel and pipes stand above that channel and get their wind through that valve when it is when it is played by the organist. There are actually three stops on this wind chest and you can see this is one set number two and number three. Um, the top of the wind chest, which is now upside down, is actually a sandwich of borings that uh, convey the wind from where the valves are to where the pipes actually stand. This construction has been made improperly uh, originally when the organ was built. It was not able to expand and contract as it should with the changing of seasons and now being 130 odd years old it is cracked immeasurably and really is no longer uh, serviceable from the standpoint of making it so that it's not going to crack again. So we are rebuilding the wind chest using all the original pallets and material as we can and over here we have made a new sandwich which will be the new grid made of modern materials uh, that are not susceptible to the expansion and contraction that solid wood is. These are the areas where all of the pallets that were on the original chest are going to be placed and it'll be identical to the old chest only we won't have the problems in the future that this one is subject to. Um, this is the original pedal wind chest upside down but this as you can see is solid wood all the way along its length. It's actually constructed of we believe only two boards and you can see where the splits have developed in the wood but it is prevented from shrinking across its grain by this board which is mounted this way and actually comes up uh, onto the side. And here's the second board, yeah, there's two boards there. Keep talking about it. <clears throat> Well, as you, can, as you can see, there are only two boards. The first goes for bits that have developed, run at a diagonal, some of them almost a quarter of an inch open, and they were all filled with silicone by previous res restorers. The uh, sides of the chest come down around and capture these two boards, this board being separate from this one, so that this board cannot expand and contract. It's trapped, and so when it tries to shrink, it has nothing to do but crack. And that will continue to happen even though we repair it. So the only way forward to make sure that this chest is going to be reliable is to re replace this sandwich 
um, in the form of the new chest, reusing as much of the original as, as we can, which is what we This is one of the uh, pedal wind chests, upside down again. Um, wherever we look, or I should say wherever we look, uh, we find large amounts of silicone uh, in every single crack just uh, to clog all the wind leaks and keep the thing airtight. Um, obviously, if you were to make a proper repair, all this has to be removed because nothing will stick to it. Glue won't stick to it, epoxy won't stick to it. And uh, so what we're doing is on the, uh, of course we're replacing the sandwich on top, but we are reusing these boards, the, uh, the rollers here that pull the valves open, and uh, the mechanism inside, which are the pallets or the individual valves and spring rails that uh, admit wind into the pipes. So we will, in fact, remove all that silicone and make the repairs on what we're reusing. But again, we're, we're replacing that sandwich that uh, cannot be repaired to be reliable in the future. Can I come on over this end, you're right? Sure. 